And here comes Marker back in the shotgun. And this time he'll hand it off. And that is Marcus Yarns pushing the pile. No signal it's yet. It's a touchdown. It's a touchdown. Into the end zone for a Delaware touchdown. We can talk about and uh, eliminate those things and get back in the football game. Yarns, as you mentioned, Coach, one of the best backs in the country, and this is actually what makes him one of the toughest backs to bring. He can beat this wide receiver out to the, down the bottom of the screen here. Maybe I think they may Maybe some movement on that side. line. I think, and there it is. There's the playoffs. Get up and get the ball. Lewis the ball. looks tie like he's goes, picked tie off. Goes to the receiver. The tie goes. That's right. There you said, Coach. Both the receiver and the defensive back had their hands on it. Hopefully get a good bounce, no return, maybe get it out on the five-yard line, an angle kick. Let's see what happens. Punts away, end over end. And a catch made, and Delaware's going to run with it. He didn't, fa he didn't fair No catch fair that. catch. Blockers in front. Only the punter there, and Delaware takes it in for the touchdown. Jordan Towson just lulled everybody to sleep. Everybody thought he was going to take the fair catch. Instead, he takes it all the way to the house. It was great vision by him. He's seeing that the, uh, the defense was out of place, and he just took advantage of the situation. A little more cloudy skies than what we had to start this game. Marker back to pass the first time this drive. He unloads, launches. He's got a man wide open, and it's Towson. Makes the catch inside. The Pirates red zone inside the 10 to the 5. Three seconds, just gets it off. Marker, the quarterback keeper, has got a lot of room. Great oh. sidestep across midfield and almost picks up a first down on second down and 20. You got something open on the inside here. Hand off to Yarns, looking goal line. Touchdown, Delaware. Yarns with his second touchdown of the day. And the Blue Hens are starting to burst this one wide open. It's 23 to nothing with an extra point pending. They're going to need a lot more of those as man goes in motion for Delaware. And the give. Got, wow, a lot of green space, man. Outside zone. A lot gone. of room for Davis yeah. across midfield. Past the 45-yard line to the Pirates. 43. Five minutes left to play in this first half. It's been all Delaware. Marker, first pass of this drive. Pressure, rolls to his right. Looking, now he'll tuck it and run it. Wide open, sideline, pylon, touchdown. All right, Flair. Looking for the fade. Catch it. End zone. What a catch! Over the shoulder. And it's a Delaware touchdown. For Josh Youngblood. Uh, he, the defensive back is in phase with him, and uh, he just misses the ball. Great location. Hasn't quite been as dominant as they have been in years past, but Richmond, with a win on the road to North Carolina A&T, 33-10, their only conference loss of the year. Minicucci looking end zone. Double He's move. got a man, an easy pitch and catch, and that is is Minicucci with a touchdown toss. James Collins, the senior, with a touchdown grab. Stays perfect in the CAA, 4-0. They improve to 6-1 overall. Meanwhile, the Pirates drop to below 500, 3-4, 1-3 in the CAA. They get North Carolina A&T right at this field for homecoming next weekend.